guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to decorate your small apartment, small space on a budget for the fall. Okay, so first stop was Hobby Lobby. This is one of my all-time favorite stores for home decor, especially during the holiday season. You can find literally everything that you need in one place. As you can see, Hobby Lobby for the fall has a lot of uh, farmhouse, modern farmhouse, very fall-esque decor. Um, so it was really easy for me to find exactly what I was looking for. And you guys, another thing about Hobby Lobby is that they offer 40% off on a lot of their holiday items first when they first come out. And then as the season progresses and as you move to the next season or the next holiday, they up that discount. So if you're like me and you're on a budget, Hobby Lobby is a great place for you to shop. My next stop was Michael's and they were offering a 60% off discount on their fall decor and I found a couple of things there. Okay, so let's get into it. So here we have a buffalo check table runner that I found at Hobby Lobby. I believe it was $14.99. Super cute. I also found these plates at Hobby Lobby. They have a gold rim to them. Those um, were super cheap. And get this, you guys, I found them in the Christmas section at Hobby Lobby, and they were actually 50% off at the time that I bought them. And so they ended up being, I think, about two, maybe three dollars a piece. Okay, and here is a close-up of the plate so you guys can kind of see that gold rim detail that I was talking about. They are so gorgeous. Um, and then you'll also see the silverware, gold matte silverware that I found from Target at the very beginning of the year. Um, hopefully I can still find them and maybe link them for you guys, but they're great and they just really make the whole thing pop and they match the plate. Here are my gather napkin rings that I found from Target as well. Um, they're under that Magnolia line. I already had them, but I ended up purchasing a few more because they went on clearance. You guys get it, I'm on a budget, finding things. Um, I found them on clearance as well, and um, they really just make the whole thing just kind of set it all off and look put together. I added a little bit of hay here to just kind of make it fall inspired, make it look cute. And here is a close up so you guys can see what that really looks like. Super fun, super easy, takes two seconds. And now you have a whole place setting that looks really put together and festive. And here I'm just adding the exact same setting on the other side. And again, pro tip, if you guys don't have finances to do different plates and silverware, use what you have. And here you see me putting together these cute gold lanterns that I found from Hobby Lobby. You guys, these things are probably about $8 a piece. I just added a candle right on inside. And there you go. Super easy, super cheap, looks great, adds a little something to your setting. So up next are my cute little place card settings that I got from Target under the Magnolia line. There's two sides, one that you can add your own place card into, which I did here, and the other side is a chalkboard side, which you could add whatever you want to. Um, I chose to do my own and just place one on either side of my setting. And here is the fun part. This is where I'm making my cute little basket that you'll see in the middle of my whole setting. Um, this was super easy. I found the basket and all of the materials at Michael's. Um, and you, I'm just kind of stuffing in all of the items right on into that basket, kind of making it float right out of the middle section of the basket. And you'll see it as I turn it around. Um, and then I had pine cones already that I used for my Christmas tree and I pulled the suckers right down from my Christmas box and put them into this basket just to add a little texture and add a little um, extra volume to it. There's also some fun little pumpkins and small pine cones that are in the bottom of the basket. I found this pumpkin at Michael's as well. I think it was maybe about two, three bucks and kind of arrange it a little bit make it look pretty. 
So we set the basket right in the middle of the place settings and I found this thankful sign from Michaels. I think it was probably about $10 and I just set that right in front of the basket in the middle of the place setting to set it all off and we're done. Here is the final product. Again, you guys, this was super easy and it's pretty cheap to do. Um, I had a budget of about $100 and I probably spent around $60 to $70 for all of this stuff. Um, again, it was all on sale or on clearance. Nothing on this countertop did I pay full price for and it turned out great. It looks good, it feels good, and it's exactly what I was looking to do. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that all these tips and tricks help you as you begin to decorate your home for the fall. And you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and of course, leave me a comment. I would love to connect with you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Touches, touches, touches. Okay.